Hi, I'm Dr. Altman. I'm here at St. John Fisher College in, uh, outside of Rochester, New York, at the home of the Buffalo Bills training camp. I wonder if anybody here is doing any physics. Let's see. In this first situation, they're doing interception drills. The guy's running downfield. He's doing it backwards because he's uh, supposedly following some receiver from the opposing team. And let's say he's traveling at 3 meters per second. The football is tossed. Let's assign a value of 4 meters per second. And so the relative velocity between the two of them would be 1 meter per second. So the football is coming along at, a, at an easy one meter per second of relative velocity between them. And he can reach up and grab the football. In the second situation, it's interception drills, but now the uh, defensive guy is running towards the opposing team. And let's say he's running at 2 meters per second, and the football, football is being tossed at 3 meters per second towards him. So the relative velocity between the two, these two things is now 5 meters per second. It's though the football is being tossed at him at a, a total of 5 meters per second. Not a lot of time to catch the ball, and uh, it's easy to drop it under those conditions. This is the classic train situation. Classic train situation starts off with a train leaving, I don't know, uh, Phoenix, traveling at uh, you know maybe 60 miles an hour. And another train at the same time leaves Santa Fe, traveling at 50 miles per hour. And they've got to go a total distance of, uh, let's say, uh, uh, I don't know, 600 miles. How much time goes by? Well, the solution is relatively easy. The distance, 600 miles, is being covered at a relative velocity of the sum of the two, or 110 miles per hour. So if velocity equals distance over time, then time is equal to distance divided by velocity, or 600 miles divided by the 110 miles per hour. This is a classic physics problem. It's part of culture. Uh, everybody's heard of this particular physics problem. And now you have too. At 7.30 a.m., an express train traveling 60 miles an hour leaves Santa Fe bound for Phoenix, 520 miles away. Shh! Visualize it, Bert! At the same time, a local train traveling 30 miles an hour and carrying 40 passengers leaves Phoenix bound for Santa Fe. 